All right, so I'm recording this to help myself um, with one of my classes, Introduction to Clinical Mental Health Counseling. So we start with the ethical standards for human services professionals. National Organization for Human Service adopted in 2015. Preamble. Human services is a profession developed in response to the direction of human needs and human problems in the 1960s characterized by an appreciation of human beings and all of their diversity human services offers assistance to its clients within the context of their communities and environments human service professionals and those who educate them promote and encourage the unique values and characteristics of human services in doing so human service professionals uphold the integrity and ethics of the profession promote client and community well-being and enhance their own professional growth. The fundamental values of the human service profession include respecting the dignity and welfare of all people, promoting self-determination, honoring, honoring cultural diversity, advocating for social justice, and acting with integrity, honesty, genuineness, and object objectivity. Human service professionals consider these standards in ethical and professional discussion decision making. Conflicts may exist between this code of code and laws, workplace policies, cultural practices, credentialing boards, and personal beliefs. Ethical decision making process should be employed to assure careful choices. Although ethical codes are not legal documents, they may be used to address issues related to behavior, the behavior of human service professionals. Persons who use this code include members of the National Organization for Human Services, students in relevant academic degree programs, faculty in those same programs, researchers, administrators, and professionals in community agencies who identify with the profession of human services. The ethical standards are organized in sections around those persons to whom ethical practices should be applied. So responsibility to clients. Standard one, human services rep professionals recognize and build on client and community strengths. Standard two, human services professionals obtain informed consent to provide services to clients at the beginning of the helping relationship. Clients should be informed that they may withdraw consent at any time except where denied by court order and should be able to ask questions before agreeing to the service. Clients who are unable to give consent should have those who are legally able to give consent for them review an informed consent statement and provide appropriate consent. Standard 3. Human service professionals protect the client's right to privacy and confidentiality, except when such confidentiality would raise serious harm to the clients or others. When agency guidelines state otherwise, or under other um, stated conditions like local, state, or federal law, human service professionals inform clients of the limits of confidentiality prior to the onset of the helping relationship. Standard four, if it is suspected that danger or harm may occur to the client or to others as a result of the client's behavior, the human service professional acts in an appropriate and professional manner to protect the safety of those individuals. This may involve, but is not limited to, seeking consultation, supervision, and or breaking the confidentiality of the relationship. Standard number five, human service professionals recognize that multiple relationships may increase the risk of harm to or exploitation of clients. It may impair the professional's judgment. When it is not feasible to avoid dual or multiple relationships, human service professionals should consider whether the professional relationship should be avoided or curtailed. Section 6. Sexual or romantic relationship with current clients are prohibited. Before engaging in sexual or romantic relationship with former clients, friends, or family members of former clients, human service professionals carefully evaluate potential exploitation or harm and refrain from entering into such relationships. Standard 7. Human service professionals ensure that their values or biases are not imposed upon their clients. Standard 8, human service professionals protect the integrity, safety, and security of client records. 
client information in writing or electronic form that is shared with other professionals must have clients prior written consent except in the course of professional supervision or when legally obligated or permitted to share such information. Standard 9. When providing service through the use of technology, human service professionals take precautions to ensure they ma and maintain confidentiality and comply with all relevant laws and requirements regarding storing, transmitting, and receiving data. In addition, human service professionals ensure that clients are aware of any issues and concerns related to confidentiality, service issues, and how technology might ne negatively or positively impact the helping relationship. Responsibility to the public and society. So standard 10. Human service professionals provide services without discrimination or preference in regards to age, ethnicity, culture, race, abil uh, ability, gender, language preference, religion, sexual orientation, socioeconomic status, nationality, or other historically oppressed groups. Standard 11, human service professionals are knowledgeable about their cultures and communities within which they practice. They are aware of multiculturalism in society and its impact on the community as well as individuals within the community. They respect the cultures and beliefs of individuals and groups. Standard 12, human service professionals are aware of local, state, and federal laws. They advocate for change in regulations and statuses when such legislation conflicts with the ethical guideline and or client rights. Where laws are harmful to individuals, groups, or communities, human service professionals consider the conflict between the values of obeying the law and the values of serving people and may decide to initiate social action. Standard 13, human service professionals stay informed about current social issues as they affect clients and communities. If appropriate to the helping relationship, they share this information with clients, groups, and communities as part of their work. Standard 14, human service professionals are aware of social and political issues that differentiate, affect, differently affect clients with diverse backgrounds. Standard 15, human service professionals provide a mechanism for identifying clients' needs and assets, calling attention to those need, these needs and assets, and assisting in planning and mobilizing to advocate for those needs at the individual, community, and societal level when appropriate to the goals of the relationship. Standard 16, human service um, professionals advocate for social justice, social justice and seek to eliminate oppression. They raise awareness of underserved population in their communities and with the legislation system. Standard 17, human service professionals accurately represent their qualifications to the public. This includes, but is not limited to, their abilities, training, education, credentials, academic endeavors, and areas of expertise. They avoid the appearance of misrepresentation or inappropriated and take immediate steps to correct if it occurs. Standard 18, human service professionals describe the effectiveness of treatment programs, interventions and treatments, and or techniques accurately supported by data whenever possible. And then we have responsibilities to colleagues. Standard 19, human service professionals avoid duplicating another professional's helping relationship with the client. They consult with other professionals who are assisting with client in a different type of relationship when it is the best interest of the client to do so. In addition, human services professionals seek ways to actively collaborate and coordinate with other professionals when appropriate. Standard 20, when human services professionals have a conflict with a colleague, they first seek out the colleague in an attempt to manage the problem. If this effort fails, the professional then seeks the assistance of the supervisor, consultation, and other professionals in efforts to address the conflict. Standard 21, Human service professionals respond appropriately to unethical and problematic behavior of colleagues. Usually, this means initially um, taking direct, talking directly with the colleague, and if no satisfactory resolution is achieved, reporting the colleague's behavior to supervision or administrative staff. Standard 22, all consultations between human services professionals are kept private unless to do so result in harm to client or communities. Responsibility to the employers. Standard 23, to the extent possible, human service professionals adhere to commitments made to their employers. Standard 24, human service professionals participate in efforts to establish and maintain employment conditions 
which are conducive to high quality ser client services. Whenever possible, they assist in evaluating the effectiveness of the agency through reliable and valid assessment measures. Standard 25, when a conflict arises um, between fulfilling the responsibility to the employer and the responsibility to the client, human service professionals work with all involved to manage the conflict. Responsibility to the profession. Standard 26. Human service professionals seek the training, experience, education, and supervision necessary to ensure their effectiveness in working with culturally diverse individuals based on age, ethnicity, culture, race, ability, gender, language preference, religion, sexual orientation, socioeconomic status, nationality, or other historical oppression groups. In addition, they will strive to increase their competencies in methods which are known to be best fit for the population with whom they work. Standard 27. Human service professionals know the limit and scope of their professional knowledge and offer services only within their knowledge, skill base, and scope of practice. Standard 28. Human service professionals seek appropriate consultation and supervision to assist in decision making when they are legal, ethical, or other dilemmas. Standard 29. Human service professionals promote cooperation among related disciplines to foster personal growth and to optimize the impact of interprofessional collaboration on clients at all levels. Standard 30. Human service professionals promote the continuing development of their profession. They encourage members in professional associations, support research endeavors, foster educational advancement, advocate for appropriate legislative action, and participate in other related professional activities. Standard 31, human service professionals continually seek out new and effective approaches to enhance their professional abilities and use techniques that are con conceptually or evidence-based. When practicing techniques that are experimental or new, they inform clients of the status of such techniques, as well as the possible risks. Standard 23, human service professionals conduct research that adheres to all ethical principles, institutional standards, and scientific rigor. Such research takes into consideration cross-cultural bias and is reported in a manner that addresses any limitations. Standard 33, human service professionals make careful decisions about disclosing personal information while using social media knowing that they reflect the profession of human services. In addition, they consider how their public conduct may reflect on themselves and their profession. Responsibility to self. Standard 34. Human service professionals are aware of their own cultural backgrounds, beliefs, values, and biases. They recognize the potential impact of their background on their relationship with others and work diligently to provide cultural competence services to all of their clients. Standard 35. Human service professionals strive to develop and maintain healthy relationships, person, uh, maintain healthy personal growth to ensure that they are capable of giving optimal services to clients. When they find that they are physically, emotionally, psychologically, or otherwise not able to offer such services, they identify alternative services for the clients. Standard 36. Human service professionals hold a commitment to lifelong learning and continually advance their knowledge and skills to serve clients more effectively. Responsibility to students. Standard 37. Human service educators develop and implement culturally sensitive knowledge, awareness, and teaching metho methodologies. Standard 38, human service educators are committed to the principles of access and inclusion and take all available and applicable steps to make education available to differentially abled students. Standard 39, human service educators demonstrate high standards of scholarship in their scholarship, pedagogy, and professional service and stay current in the field by being members of their professional associations, attending workshops and conferences, and reviewing and or conducting research. Standard 40, human service um, educators recognize and acknowledge the contributions of students to the work of the educator in such activities as case material, grants, workshops, research, publications, and or other related activities. Standard 41, human service educators monitor students' field experience to ensure the quality of the placement site, supervision uh, experience, 
and learning experience towards the goals of professional, personal, academic, career, and civic development. When students experience potentially harmful events during field placements, educators provide reasonable investigation and response as necessary to safeguard that student. Standard 42, human service educators establish and uphold appropriate guidelines concerning student disclosure of sensitive and personal information, which includes letting students have fair warning of any self-disclosure activities, allowing students to opt out of in-depth self-disclosure activities when feasible, and ensuring that a me mechanism is available to discuss and proce process such activities as needed. Standard 43, Human service educators are aware that in their relationship with students, power and status are unequal. Human service educators are responsible to clarify, clearly define and maintain ethical and professional relationships with students. Avoid contact that is demeaning, embarrassing, or exploitative of students. And always strive to treat students fairly, equally, and without discrimination. And finally... Standard 44, human service educators ensure students are familiar with, informed by, and accountable to the ethical standards and policies put forth by their program, department, the course syllabus, instructor, their advisors, and the ethical standards of human service professionals. So that's it for this video. Thank you for listening.